The launch of an election security handbook at the KICC on Tuesday. And the chief guest, the Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, used the occasion to affirm the commitment of the National Police Service to ensuring a secure election. In fulfilling our mandate, we will stick strictly or we will apply the law strictly as it is. Boynet says at least 180,000 officers will be trained and deployed to various polling centers to maintain peace and tranquility. In preparing to fulfill our mandate, we have made quite a number of engagements with other concerned entities. We have participated in meetings, workshops, and symposia organized by for instance, the judiciary, in which we have always endeavored to play or to show how prepared we are to play our role. He, however, reiterated that a credible, free, and fair election is the key in ensuring peace and stability is maintained during the electioneering period. Stakeholders, including the UNDP, have urged the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, REBC, to ensure that the polls are beyond reproach. Research also indicates that the very electoral process and contest itself may precipitate violence and chaos. Electoral violence often erupts when elections are deemed by key stakeholders as flawed, fraudulent, and their rules and procedures and outcomes are perceived as manipulated. The judiciary in the meantime has trained over 92 magistrates to handle an avalanche of election petitions expected after the August 8th polls. Wape nafasi viongozi wale wangataka kuwaongoza nafasi ya kuwaelezeni kuwaelezeni sera zao. Bila matusi, bila vitisho. Dugu viongozi wana siasa. Kenya hii ni yetu na nyinyi. Wape wa Kenya nafasi ya kuishi kuwashagua. Hamna faida kuwa na maiti kwa sababu maiti hawa, haita wachagua. Watu walio hai wata wachagua. Mutupe nafasi tuwe hai ili tuwachagwe. Na mutupe nafasi tuwe hai baada ya kuwachagua ili mututumikie. The electoral body REBC says the training project launched on Tuesday will enhance the cooperation between police, public, IEBC and other independent commissions in promoting and ensuring the security of the campaign's period through best practices in negotiated public order management. As a commission, it's our duty to do so without people being intimidated with threats or violence or coercion. This particular election, of course, you can see the high stakes and polarization of electoral competition right from the primaries. The campaigns are about to start. We're going into the voting period and through to the counting and telling of votes to declaration of winners, there's a potential conflict at any time. And where there's conflict, there's bound to be violence. So between now and August, we have every step is crucial. Through the training, the police hopes to enhance their investigating skills and prosecution of electoral offenders in the country and promoting joint election risk assessment and response to these risk factors. Reporting for Channel 1 News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, OD.